C7 was played. Knight? What? Well, he does knight want to C7? take that pawn on A6. King to D7, knight takes A6. Ah, very interesting. And different... then you also have knight C5 coming. Ooh, very nice. And that was why Gary played. But wait a minute. Gary's played king to D8, potentially allowing for knight takes E6 and bishop F7. I play. Your pardon, the pawn on G2 is still hanging. Um, Double-edged affair. Did Duda make the right choice? When he played knight c7, I'm not convinced. I am not convinced either. No, I do not like giving up that g2 pawn. I feel that's that... clear counterplay now for black. Exactly. But it's about the clock, Christian. 20 seconds. Oh my goodness. And rook d2, due to saying, no, 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 no. I am not going to let your rook uh, play havoc along the second rank. But Gary's traded rooks, he's got in the move f5. He does have the two bishops, bishop g5 check, always a potential disturbance in the force over there, and he's done it. Again, it's all about the clock. Gary's ready to capture on f5, but he's hesitating. Rook d5. Recognize rook oh, d5. no! He forgot about rook d5. That swing on the, on the fifth rank with the and bishop he just on g5 just loses a piece, and he just resigned. It's a resignable position if you cannot take on f5. Oh my gosh, uh, I'm stunned, I'm stunned. 